Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, little drum fill of the week for you. It's going to go like this. Now this, uh, like the title of this video says, is my most asked about like drum fill or moment or anything really from a video that I've done. So sometimes I post videos and people will say, what was that bit you did there? What was that bit you did there? And not always, but usually it's nothing to do with what the actual video is about. It's just people spotting stuff. And that was definitely the case here. Now this was, uh, this featured in a video that I did three years ago in November 2018. And that video was a short one minute drum lesson about playing the linear classic simple linear lick of right stick left stick bass drum you know all this business and uh quickly obviously in one minute but sp spoke about that and at the end like normally i just did a bit of playing to show that in context and at one point just to kind of break it up and to keep it sort of musically interesting in between doing those right left kick fills i played this little moment And uh, happily, lots of people messaged and commented and said, what was that? What was that thing there? Uh, I posted this in initially on YouTube and it didn't get very many views. Uh, but then it did the rounds and got shared a lot on Facebook. And then on Instagram, it was one of the most viewed videos I've ever put on Instagram. So uh, shout out to channel member Sam, who had, his Zoom, had a Zoom session today and asked about this. And shout out to all the people who've commented and uh, messaged me about that, especially from Instagram, uh, to ask what it was. I'll take you through it now. Like I say, it was nothing to do with what the actual video was about. Um, what I've done here is I've made a little four bar loop to practice to do this fill, uh, because this thing, which happened in the fourth bar, <laughs> is a whole thing. I don't want I don't want us to be sort of distracted by that here. I've just made the fourth bar a bar of groove. So what I've presented below is a four bar loop that goes like this. And then restarts like that. So in the fourth bar we're just going dunt gut ba bum gut. So just just play a but in you know, a straightforward bar of groove in the fourth bar. Right, here we go. First bar went like this. So you've got one and two and three and four and ah. Uh. So relatively straightforward uh, bar of groove. The funky bit, I guess there, is that the bass drum lands on the ah uh of beat four at the end. So bass drum on its own after the last hi-hat. Here's the first bar again. So one and two and three and four and ah. Uh. Now, when the first bit of the second bar starts, there's also two little quite funky bass drums which are on E and. So the, the like at the very beginning of the second bar here, on beat one, you're playing one E and, which is hi-hat, then bass drum, then hi-hat with bass drum. One and. Oh, and the hi-hat on and is open. One and. You then land with a snare with your left stick on beat two, and that, that doesn't have a hi-hat with it. That's just a snare on its own. So let's play a little bit the first bar all the way through and then up to beat two in the second bar. That would go like this. Let's go again. Four and. Three and four and we'll go slower. Two and three and and a one, e and three, and four, one last time. One, and two, and three, and four, and a one, e and two. Okay, cool, that's that bit. Okay, then we're gonna go after the two there, we're in the second bar on beat two, it's two and a, ba, 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 that rhythm there, this is two, so that rhythm two and a phrase there's left on the snare drum this is, assumes you're right-handed left on the snare drum right stick on the first tom and then left stick up to an open hi-hat which i was kind of doing like a burst so i was lifting up my foot as my left stick went to it and as you can see on the notation you then close it the little cross at the bottom of the stave is your hi-hat uh, with the pedal as in close it uh, 
on beat three. So I'm now going to play up to that point, the whole of the first bar and the first half of the second bar, beats one and two in the second bar. Here we go. And four and. And a bit slower. Okay, when you've done the R uh of beat two, that sneaky left stick over to the hi-hat, you're then gonna play beat three, both feet together. So you're closing the hi-hat and also landing the bass drum. No stick hit there at all on beat three. Uh, the rhythm on beat, uh, across beat three is three E and uh. This is played as Uh, on that video, I played it as like high tom and then mid tom. I've written it here just because of, I've wrote this out on G Groove Scribe. Shout out as ever to the amazing Mike Johnson and his Groove Scribe app, which is mind blowing. It's such a brilliant uh, app. I've written it out on that, and there's only uh, no, there's only you can only do a high tom and a low tom. So I've written them as if they were both on a high tom. I know a lot of people who, you know, have lessons or watch these videos have like a high tom and a low tom only. So that's fine. If you have two tom toms like I did and you want to use them, that's fine. The point is here on beat three in the second bar, it goes three and uh, or if you go three and uh, whatever, that's fine. But yeah, bass drum and hi-hat on the three, E and uh. So a bass drum on the uh of beat four. Okay, you guessed it. We're going to do the first bar and then the first three quarters of the second bar. Go a bit more slowly. All right, on beat four, I went four E and uh, and I played this as four E and uh. So left stick on the snare, if you're right-handed, bass, right stick on the floor tom, bass. So here's the whole first two bars. Okay, let's just take the second bar a little bit. So one E. Okay, we're now going to just roll the first and second bars a little bit, round and round. Okay, so we're pretty much there. And then, like I say, just because I thought it was a bit a bit funky, I went one and uh, on the beginning of the next bar, the third bar that you're seeing written here. And I played it as left stick on the crash and then right stick. I played it on the edge of the ride cymbal, just on the spur of the moment. I thought it was, I thought, I thought it was quite fun. So let's do that. And I'll actually complete bar three here as well. So now I'm going to play the first three bars. Two and three and four. And so in that third bar, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, cool. And then just to complete the fourth bar, like I said, I'm, I've just put in here a bar of groove. Uh, so basically, play what you like in bar four. Um, I thought that boom, da, boom, boom, but finish this off nicely as a as a four bar loop. So, like I said, didn't want us to get distracted by the right left kick thing. So, just to complete a four bar loop, and so you could practice this as a musical phrase that made some kind of sense and had a musical flow to it. I just put in a bar of groove there at the end. Here's the whole four bars.
something like that. Um, I found myself playing a bit more pedaled hi hat for some reason there in the in when it goes around the toms. You could do that or not. That's fine. Uh, so I will go real slow. I'm going to repeat that four bars really slow. We're going to work it up in classic uh, style, slow to fast. Here we go. Two and three and four and. Second bar. And three and four and one and three and three. Okay, bit faster from the top. And a little bit quicker. And a bit faster. And about the speed I played it in the first place. And again. Something like that, I reckon. I wonder what speed I played it at. Maybe 120, 130. Something like that, I reckon, would be a nice speed uh, to get to. Let's have a little listen. So we go. Uh, let's go one. Let's go 130. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Around there, I Something like uh, 120 to 130 was probably the range I was playing it in. As ever, if you want to learn stuff like this, often the way to do it is, of course, start slow, build it bit by bit. And uh, I, this isn't one that I like started slow with in the sense that I, I made it up on the spot. But it, obviously, I've been playing the drums for a while, and this is a combination of sort of different licks that I play around with. It just came out of jamming, man. But there you go. People, lots of people have asked, what what was it? That's the best description. I can do what that was. I had to go back and like slow the video down and work out what the hell I was playing three years ago. But um, there you go. Hope that's useful. Shout out to channel member Sam. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, really appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe. If you want to get a notification every time I upload a video, which is pretty much every day, please click the little bell icon and you'll get that. And thanks as ever uh, to all the amazing people who support this channel by buying me a coffee at my Buy Me A Coffee page. Thanks a million to all the virtual coffee buyers. And of course, to all the channel members like Sam, uh, if you've enjoyed these videos, found them helpful, useful, feel positive about them in any way, and you're in a position to and would like to, please consider supporting this channel. Uh, like Sam, as a channel member, you get a whole load of great features, um, as including uh, members' videos, complimentary Zoom session, uh, personalized practice plan, which I'll update for you as you progress, your questions answered by video response, um, uh, feedback on your drumming if you do 
practice anything you're working on you're practicing send me a video send me audio i'll do a video response with feedback uh, notation and practice along versions uh, for the tutorial videos i put up like for example here and a whole load of other stuff ongoing drum support like i say your practice plan updated as you go along plus uh, priority requests for future videos access to zoom and face-to-face -face sessions uh, after your initial freebie if you want and a whole load of other stuff 10 pounds a month cancel anytime if you want and uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you soon.